The Gospel according to St. Mark. Mark chapter 1. The message of John the Baptist. Beginning from verse 1. Here is the glad tidings regarding Jesus Christ, the offspring of the living God. It commenced as God's special envoy Isaiah had written. Look, I will dispatch my envoy before you to make the way ready for you. The sound of one shouting in the wilderness, prepare a route for the Lord God, make his path smooth and perfect. Basically, John the Baptist appeared, baptizing the people in the wild desert area and preaching penitence in baptism to obtain pardon from God for sins. The entire land of Judea and multitudes from Jerusalem all thronged before John. And he had them all baptized in the Jordan River and they confessed their wrongs and offenses. And John the Baptist was robed in camel's hair. He had a leather belt fastened around his waist and he lived basically on locusts and wild honey as his favorite confection. And John addressed the people saying, one is coming after me who is superior to me and I'm not even worthy to unloose the strap of his sandal. Now I baptize all of you with water, but when he comes, he will baptize all of you with the Holy Spirit. As events happened, Jesus proceeded from Nazareth of Galilee and approached John the Baptist at the Jordan River and John baptized him. As soon as Jesus had received baptism, he came up at once from the water and lo, the gates of heaven were open to him and he saw the Spirit of the Lord God descending and alighting upon him just like a dove. And then a sound was heard from heaven, this is my dearly beloved son with whom I am greatly pleased. At once the Spirit took Jesus Christ into the wilderness. And Jesus was there in the wild desert area for 40 days. He was tempted by the devil and there were wild animals everywhere in the area. But the angels of God were there and they helped him. After John the Baptist had been imprisoned, Jesus proceeded to Galilee, preaching the glad tidings of the monarchy of the Lord God. And he said, the hour has come and the monarchy of the Lord God is near. Be penitent and believe in the glad tidings. And as Jesus was walking by the Galilean lake, he saw two fishermen, Simon and Andrew, his brother, throwing a fishing net into the lake. And Jesus told them, follow me and I will instruct you to be fishers of humanity. And at once they abandoned their fishing nets and followed Jesus. Proceeding from there, Jesus again saw two siblings, James the offspring of Zebedee and his brother John. They were in their boat preparing their fishing nets. At once Jesus invited them and they abandoned their fishing boat and their father Zebedee and some hired workers and they followed Jesus. Jesus and his followers entered Capernaum and the following Sabbath day Jesus proceeded to the synagogue and lectured. And the people who listened to Jesus marveled at his words and instructions for he instructed them with authority and was not like the inferior authorities of the law. There was a man in the place of worship who was possessed by a demon, an unclean evil spirit, and he yelled and yelped for quite a while, saying, Go, leave us alone, O Jesus of Nazareth. What business have we with you? Did you bring our doom and ruin to afflict us? I know you well, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked the devil, saying, Quiet, hold your peace. Now depart from him. So the demon shook him vigorously and yelled repeatedly, and then he departed from him. The people were quite astonished and questioned one another closely, saying, What a word is Jesus? What new teaching is this? For all with all authority he orders the demons and untidy and harmful spirits, and they obey him and depart. And so the report about Jesus circulated everywhere in the neighboring regions of Galilee. Jesus and his followers, with James and John in the group, all got up and proceeded from the synagogue. 
they came to the residence of Simon and Andrew, and they entered the place. The mother of Simon's wife was seriously ill, battling with an acute fever, and Jesus was consulted uh, regarding her case. Jesus came to her, raised her hand, and helped her get up. The sickness departed from her body at once, and she attended to them. At about sunset, the faithful brought to Jesus sick people uh, suffering from different kinds of infections and disabilities and people who were possessed by demons and the entire city assembled in front of the residence. Jesus cured many people who were ill and suffering from different kinds of infirmities and he expelled many evil spirits but he did not let them say anything for they were aware that he was Jesus the Christ. By morning, Jesus got up early, long before it was daylight, and proceeded to a quiet area where he prayed in solitude. But Simon and those who accompanied him were looking for Jesus. And then they eventually found him. They told him, uh, when they found him, everybody has been looking for you. But Jesus told them, we must proceed to the other districts. I have to address the faithful in all these places, for that is why I'm here. So he journeyed throughout Galilee, addressing the people in every synagogue and expelling demons. Then a leper approached Jesus, lowered himself politely before him and said, Master, if you are willing, you are able to cleanse me. And Jesus felt pity and sympathy for him. And so he stretched out his hand, touched the man and said, I am quite willing, be clean and healed. At once, he was clean and healed of the sickness. And Jesus warned him frankly and earnestly and immediately sent him away, saying, Listen, do not inform anybody, but go to the priest in charge and show yourself to him. Then go and offer the sacrifice that Moses commanded as an evidence before all. But the man went everywhere speaking freely of the miracle. He spoke quite extensively about the wonderful work Jesus had done such that Jesus could not enter the district publicly, but remained outside, outside the town in remote, solitary areas. And people approached him from the entire region. 